Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm going to come at you with a little bit of a first impressions on uh, on Black Afghano. Um, I received this on a split that Wally Stinks put up. Um, thanks Wally. Uh, really cool guy. So if anybody catches any of his splits coming up, you should hop on him because he really does a, a, a fine job. And, even put a cool little design sticker on it. Even on these little 5 ml decants, I see a lot of people, you know, go out of their way for like the nicer, you know, 30 ml bottles. But to do it on this little thing, it's classy. It's nice stuff. Uh, so yesterday I did an unpackaging of this. Shot like a 10 minute video of first impressions, um, and I didn't like it. So this isn't going to be a first impressions because I've smelt it. But, um, however, I'll kind of give you a little bit of what I got out of it. Um, I'm not going to give any note breakdown. Uh, I'm just going to shoot from the hip here and kind of tell you what I, what I think about it. Uh, I, I picked this, uh, this came in the mail yesterday at about 4 o'clock. And I immediately was excited, busted open the package, put one spray on the back of my hand. And... Um, that was at like 4, 4.15, and I got to tell you, right now, it is about 2 o'clock with a shower, and I still smell it on the back of my hand. So, you're looking at like 22 hours, and it is still there. Um, it's very, you know, skin real close. I'm not going to get noticed really much with it, but this is good stuff. And this thing projected strong even up until this morning. When, before I took my shower, I smelt it, and it... Had a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, projection to it, so uh, a little sillage. But this is legit stuff. Now, my first impressions when I smelled this, uh, I liked it. You know, I had 185 bucks for a 30 ml bottle. No way. But um, yeah, it uh, it's a really good fragrance, and just in the in the day that I've had it, it's grown on me, and I'm still smelling just that single shot so when I see people talk about one spray and that's all you need I can see that you know maybe put a spray right here and uh, it's, it's really good stuff um, but what I kinda get out of it and again everybody's gonna have different views is is I get like a nutty kind of opening um, and I'm not really sure I'm not like some of the seasoned vets out there that could put exactly on what it is you know um, I'm learning and so all I get and the opening is a nutty kind of vibe. And um, and then I get this wet kind of, maybe in the forest kind of feel. Um, but really, that's probably, <laughs> off of that, I've probably hurt uh, the company off of my first impressions because I, I, I can't make it sound super cool. But that's what I get. I get uh, a nutty opening and then the dry down. Uh, I get this wet, just kind of feel like I may be out in the rain. I get like a, like a wet concrete kind of smell. Um, and again, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I liked it. Um, you know, to me, this would have been like a juice that was uh, maybe a, a lower end kind of niche, maybe a, a 50 ml bottle for, you know, 125 bucks or something. But it's already grown on me quite a bit. Um, and, and I will say this, I made this on the Facebook, on the Facebook forum, on the post on there, and I'll go ahead and for the ones that haven't seen it, uh, this to me does not smell like a lady, uh, would dig this fragrance. To me, it just smells like a confident kind of, uh, a fragrance that a guy would wear, not caring about what the opposite sex would smell, and really not caring what anybody else would smell, because it's really, uh, it's one of those kind of infamous fragrances, like, not everybody's going to like this. This is not a blind buy. But um, I've been going to this little local taco spot up the street, right? And as you can tell by looking at me, uh, I enjoy my tacos. So there's a couple cute honeys that work in there. And, uh, you know, I've got a girlfriend, but, you know, I'll go in there and get some tacos. And, and I always wear fragrances. And, and these girls, they're in their, you know, early to mid-20s and, and they're still stuck on the, the Banana Republic, Abercrombie and Finch, uh, 
you know, fragrances, the, the high school teen type stuff. And I'll go in with certain fragrances and they'll smell them on me. And I haven't had a single fragrance that they liked from original Santal to Pure Mall and all that stuff. It's just, they always say, that's yeah, nice, but uh, nothing really is, has caught their eye. The other day I wore uh, Givenchy's Play Intense, which is one of my favorite designer fragrances, and they were like, mm, you know, I, I really don't like it. So I put this spray on the back of my hand just to give me a scent. I wasn't like wearing it. I just put it on the back of my hand, and like 15, 20 minutes later, I went to get some tacos. I walk in, and this is the God's honest truth. Both of these girls, actually there was a third girl that was working there too. I walked in, and they immediately said, wow, you smell amazing. And I was, it just kind of, it kind of threw me off because I definitely don't feel like this is, uh, again, to me, um, I didn't really feel that this was a female type of tension fragrance. Um, and I definitely didn't feel like it was a, an early 20s kind of fragrance. I figured I wasn't even going to let these girls smell the cologne. Because usually I'll let everybody, you know, I'll let them smell what I'm wearing. Because they always ask me, what are you wearing? And I wasn't even going to say that I was wearing anything. Actually, I had a, a Terry Der Hermes, uh, Dermez, um Pure Part, or the Parfum on my right wrist. I was going to let them smell. Um, and I let them smell that. And they're like, no, that's not it. And I said, well, is it this? And they said, oh my gosh, that's so good. So it's kind of crazy on getting compliments from young, the younger crowd on this fragrance. Um, but that's my take on it. So I was actually kind of shocked. So uh, I'm enjoying this juice. I'm enjoying the longevity big time. And I can see where one shot will do it good. Um, I also want to apologize on my page. You're only going to find a couple videos on my page. I took down like a bunch of videos, a bunch of cologne reviews, top 10 summer, top 10 winter type fragrance. I, I just, I wanted to go in a different route, uh, a direction and um, I wasn't really happy with them. So I'm going to start making some new videos and just having fun. Uh, so that's my impressions on, on Black Afghano. I can't wait to try the line. Uh, what is it? Pardon? And uh, I forget what that other one is. Um, doesn't it start with an N maybe? I don't know. But yeah, good stuff. So get your nose on this. Try it. It's expensive. You know, get in on a split. But uh, yeah, that's just my little take on it, and uh, you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.